Hello, this is uh, Daniel. Uh, I've been hunting with uh, JJ Gomez for uh, three days now for the southeastern Ibex. Um, I came the first day, it's the end of December right now. Uh, I came uh, the first day uh, and we went out to the hunting area to, to look for some Ibex. Um, and we, we, we did see some, but there was not a lot of activity in, in the area. Um, the weather the last couple of days has been getting a lot uh, more warm. Uh, so uh, actually, usually when it's cold, there's the rut right now for the Ibex. But as it has been warmer the last days, it has been starting to calm, up, to calm down a little bit. So there hasn't been that much uh, rut to, to, to come after. So the animals haven't been moving that much. Uh, we also uh, saw a lot of, uh, a lot of big males. Um, we got a chance just in the, the last hours of the day, so, so just when the sun went down over the mountains, uh, we had a chance at an ibex, but it was uh, a, a very long shot, so it was uh, around 270 meters, and uh, unfortunately uh, I shot just below the ibex. Um, and as it was getting dark, uh, we didn't have a chance to, to go after it, um, but it ran away and it wasn't wounded, so at least that's, that's a good thing.
de de first and, and second suit armies uh, but uh, the third the suit is the male is is, is wounded and then he, he ran to the to the trees uh, we will wait a, a moment The, the Ives uh, is down. It's down. Yes. Sí. It's down. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Let's, let's get him. Okay. 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 I think around here. Yes, heavy. Heavy? Very good. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> good experience. Oh. <sighs> the the IS is, is very strong. Yes, yes. <laughs> Shoot many times. <laughs> Perfect. So we started again today, we came back to the same area, to the higher mountains, where of course it's, it's, it's more cold. Um, and we started looking for animals again, and, and we found a lot of males to begin with, but they were uh, far away. So, so we just went around scouting. And then we, we saw this male on, on a mountain, and we planned a stalk. Um, and first the, the group of Ibex, they saw us, and they started to go over the top of a mountain. Um, but we could see them in the binoculars, they went down a valley. Uh, so we went all the way around um, and we came uh, just to a point over here at the mountain behind me, uh, where we could see the Ibex were walking on, on this side of the mountain. And we saw this male, which was a, a, a big male. Um, and it was, uh, at that point, it was 150 meters away. So we set up the rifle and we looked at the animal. Um, and to begin with, it was behind a lot of trees and it was kind of hard uh, to, to get a good shot because there was a lot of trees in front of it. So we had to wait for the Ibex to walk out and to get clear. Um, and then uh, when it finally got out, uh, I took a shot and it wasn't uh, the best shot, but it wounded the Ibex. Um, so we had to go after it and, and, and get the second shot. And luckily it all worked out. Uh, it, it didn't get away or anything. So, so here's uh, my Ibex from uh, JJ Gomez uh, Casa. Um, I'm very happy with the entire experience. I've been hunting for three days. I've seen a lot of uh, nature around here. The guides are super friendly and uh, we've been eating some super, super meals. Uh, accommodation is, is great as well. So actually I, I have no bad things to say about uh, uh, Gomez and, and his company. Uh, he's been uh, hunting hard uh, every day, trying everything to, to get an Ibex for me. And I'm uh, super grateful for, for that. Um, so all in all together, uh, if you want to come to Spain and, and hunt an Ibex, uh, JJ Gomez uh, is the way to do it. Yes. <laughs>